Hi guys, welcome to the video. <clears throat> in this video I'm going to show you how to do something called proxy editing or shadow editing. There's a, there's a few different names for it. and um, Basically it's a way of helping you edit 4K video if you're on a lower end system, a bit like mine. Um, my my system isn't all, all that at the moment. It's um, I'll give you a quick, a quick show of my system settings. Um, I'm only running an AMD 7110 APU and a Radeon R2 graphics uh, at 180 gigahertz. So it's not brilliant. Uh, I'm on a 64-bit op with 4 gig of RAM, uh, a 3.47 gigabyte usable. So as you can see, my system isn't really all that good. Um, it's okay. It's good for you know basic you know <clears throat> like playing videos, surfing the web, you know your day-to-day -day tasks. But it is possible to edit video on this. Um, now, a lot of people will realise, you know, if they're using lower end cameras and stuff, that 720p edits pretty damn well good with uh, a lower end system like this. But if you go to 1080p, you'll notice that when you're in editing programs and you're you're trying to, you know, preview, you're playing through what you're editing, it will glitch. Your your music will be out of sync with the video. Um, and you don't want that happening because you know it's it's hard for you to line up cuts between different clips to to line up with the music and it's just impossible for you to preview it before you even render it so there's no point in even trying. When it comes to 4K video, obviously the resolution is a hell of a lot higher. The system is being drained on CPU and RAM. Um, you know, even if you've got a good graphics card, depending on what kind of processor you're using, it's still it's still hard. You know, so on a lower end system, I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so. Uh, let me just walk you through a few things. So, it's time to get on to the conversion side of this. So, what you need to do is you need to right click on your desktop and you need to click new folder and you need to name it Project 4K. This should be your working project folder whilst you are editing. Then you're going to open up Project 4K, right click new folder and write 420p sorry no 480p okay and then you're going to open that folder up and you're going to do another folder <coughs> called excuse me I've got a bit of a <coughs> chesty cough at the moment 480p dump or du dump okay there we go so <coughs> that's what we've got so there's a folder in a folder in a folder. So so what we're going to now do is get our 4K movie file that we are going to use to edit. Again, if you're editing more than one video file during your project, just select all of the 4K resolution videos that you've got and drag them all into Project 4K. And there it is. It's sitting there in Project 4K. Okay. So yeah. So close that down. Now you want to open up Handbrake. So we're going to open up Handbrake. Again, all the links for this program will be in the description, so all you've got to do is give it a little click, and you should be able to download it. It is freeware, and it is completely clean and tested, tried tested, no viruses, no malware, nothing nothing added onto the side of it. It's a very, very good program. Okay, so once your handbrake is open, you'll notice on the left-hand side up here, you'll have folder batch scan, or open a single video file. Now... Again, if you're going to be editing more than one video file during your project, if you're using more than, let's say, like two, three, four, five, six different video uh, files to make your project, you click Folder, Desktop, Project 4K, and then select the folder. And then all of your titles will open up inside uh, Handbrake. But... For the purposes of this video, I am not going to be doing. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to only be doing it using a single video file because at the moment I'm just showing you how to do it. So you're going to select your 4K movie from the Project 4K folder. That's the full resolution that one that you're selecting, and you're going to let Handbrake open it. Okay, and as you can see, Handbrake has now opened up the video file. Now, this just goes to show how long it took for Handbrake to 
to, to open it, even open that file for me, <clears throat> just goes to show how slow this computer that I'm on really bloody is, and it's no good at all. So now your video file, movie 4K, yeah, is up here. It's loaded in, okay, and it's number one. So now what we need to do is go here to where it says browse, and this is your destination folder for the convert. So you go to desktop, project 4K, and select the 480p file and just name your video as a default name um, vid1 and then 480p okay this is just to help you find out which video is which when, when it comes down to editing okay so um, <clears throat> now what you want to do on the right hand side here there are preset lists for different quality and resolutions and stuff from different file formats you want to go to Android where it's devices Android 480p 30 and select that one and as you can see here on the left hand side your width is now 720p by 480p which is a significantly smaller resolution and file size compared to 4k which means your computer will be able to handle this video file like it's butter it won't even blink at you because it's only 480p android okay so now you want to click add to queue now if again if you're using more than one video file you can select add to queue you see here it says now says one and then you click here and you click number two and you click add to queue and it will say two and so on and so forth until all of your videos are all selected and in the queue you can then go ahead and click show queue and start your conversion and you need to just let handbrake do its thing and convert your videos now go have a cup of tea go have, go, go take a shit you know go smoke a go smoke a joint go smoke a blunt who cares just do what you got to do and then come back when it's done once that's done finishing converting the video files go ahead and close handbrake that's enough for handbrake for today now this is what you're going to do next you're going to open your video editing program whatever editing program that you're going to use and once your video editing program has been opened you're going to open up the media browser and you are going to select your project 4k folder and then you're going to go into 480p and you're going to select the 480p video files that you want to use to edit once they're then in the media browser drag them down to your timeline now for the purposes of this video we're just going to be editing using one video file but as I said you can use many cut them drag them all down into the timeline folder uh, timeline sorry and just cut splice them you know you can mix, mix them up you know you know speed up video files basically just edit the video exactly how you want it to be edited so we're just going to move this bit over here. We're going to slice there. We're going to slice there. We're just going to we're going to swap them over. We're going to put that one over there. You can see how slow my system really is, but if this was a 4K resolution that we were trying to do, my system would completely freeze. Now for the purposes of this video, I'm going to open up and add an audio track also. So I'm going to just quickly go into my audio track and I'm just going to use some dope dubstep beat that I've got off YouTube. Thank you very much. We're going to drag that one down now into the timeline. We're going to cut it to match it up with the video. Oh, I cut it in the wrong place there. So we'll just cut it here to match it with the audio and with the video. Now I'd suggest putting your music track in first because then you can make your video cuts and edits line up with the music. Now, what you're going to see now is we're going to go to the back and we're going to press play. Now the video playback on your screen at this point will play smooth like butter. It will not freeze, it will not glitch. You can see here on my screen the resolution is set to low. 
that's just to speed my computer system up a little bit but when I press play it will play smooth like butter Now once you're happy with your video edit, go ahead and save your file to whatever file name you want to do it. So for this purposes of this video, I'm just going to save it as Fly Above House Free and save the video. And once it once your video has saved, you then want to completely close your video edit and program. Once your video editing program is closed, I then want you to go to your desktop and click on Project 4K. Then click on 480p and select the 480p video. Right click it, press rename and copy the exact name of that file. Once you've copied the exact name of that file, drag the file over and dump it into 480 dump. Then I want you to go back, select the 4K high resolution as you see here, high resolution video file and drag that into the 480p folder instead. Then you can go ahead and close this window. Once you've done that, I want you to reopen your Cyberlink Power Director and then I want you to go to File, Open Project and open up the flyer above house or whatever you've named your video open that up now when you open that up it's going to say that your files are missing this media was moved or is missing check it's available and try again and it will give you the option to browse so now what I want you to do is look at the name carefully here it wants you to look for vid1 480p so you click browse and you go to desktop project 4k 480p now you select the, in, instead of the 480p version you select the 4k one that you've just moved into that folder which is full resolution see in here in here is the one that you edited with but this is the 4k version of it that you want to now use and then you select open and it'll import everything in to Power Director. But instead of it being in 480p, it will now be in the complete full 4K quality. Once you've done that, click save. And then you've, you can then go ahead and start to produce your movie. So now you're going to go and click produce and let the produce tab open up on your video editor. And then you just want to select your output. So say for, for this one it's going to be H264 ABC and obviously here we want 4K, you can have 380 by 40 or 4 
96 by 2160 so I'm just going to click the lower one for the purposes of this video it's still 4k and then we're just going to start production and just let it render your video down and that's that it's, it's pretty much it let it render it down and then your 4k video will be produced in full quality so there it is I hope you enjoyed the video sorry if I babbled on a little bit and now you can you know, go and enjoy your video <coughs> I upload it to YouTube, upload it to Facebook, upload it to Vimeo, whatever programs or social media networks you want to upload it to. Share your video. <clears throat> so that's how to edit 4K video on a lower end system. Thanks for watching guys and I hope to catch you again soon. Don't forget to like if you like this video and subscribe to me for more similar stuff to this. I am in the process of currently upgrading my system on my computer so these videos are going to be a hell of a lot smoother for me to produce for you guys. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out on my drone videos that I'm posting on a regular basis and soon I'm going to be daily vlogging also. Once I start the daily vlogging I hope you like the insight into my life and kind of like what I do day to day. I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Catch you later.